don't know if you remember, but I interviewed you and Neetu just before Savarya released, and she talked about actually increasing your allowance from a thousand to I think fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. So are you still there? No, no, not at all. Uh, that was before I started earning uh, money, and uh, but now uh, because I earn money myself, my parents don't unfortunately don't give me that fifteen hundred per week. Allowance. The allowance has stopped. It stopped. I don't get gifts also, you know, I've realized that now they think that because I'm earning money and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a working professional, they don't need to give me gifts. Please give me gifts. It's always good to, you know, accept gifts and get gifts <laughs> from your loved ones. <laughs> Ranbir Kapoor is in the market for gifts. Please, call me. Ranbir, for the record, are you currently single? Uh, yes, I would like to say that because I'm single till I get married. Uh, why I say that is because if I'm in a relationship right now and because I'm an actor, there'll be a, there'll be enough spotlight to speak a lot about this relationship and if that relationship doesn't transfer to marriage uh, there's too much of judgment in our society about the girl about the guy or this guy was with her she was with him and I think it's it's a little uh, it, it it's it's not needed uh, so I think the day I get the day I decide to get married I would scream and say that yes I'm in love like Tom Cruise was jumping on the sofa I'll probably do that on your show but as of right now I'm calmly seated and said and saying no I'm single now this is something I thought I found very funny. You said in an interview that, um, of course, he's dating A, B, C, and D, but A and B don't know about C and D um, because, uh, you know, they just don't know. But I know because they're in my house. Now, when he says something like that, Ranbir, do you get First mad? Of this was absolutely... Uh, you never said it? No, I did, but I didn't mean it to say that, you know, he's dating four girls at one time. I said a lot of women come to the house. They could be... Uh, dress de designers. They could be uh, assistants. So, um... That's why I, I tried to say it in that mode and it got misconstrued and, you know, got into saying that A doesn't know what B, B does not see. I mean, I wouldn't like that, you know, he would be cheating on any girl. That's not the right way to do. You don't cheat on your girlfriends, you know. So, uh, that was actually meant to be said in that manner. So, but when something like that happens, do you go to him and say, like, Dad, really? Not at all. I, I actually don't take any of this seriously. I heard this very interesting thing that uh, when we start out, all our life we are aspiring to be spoken about and being famous. And when we get there, it, it, people don't want to become famous and spoken about. So it's, it's all part and parcel of the job. I'm just happy to speak about my movie and I'm happy that my father's proud of me if, when my work is concerned. But when my personal life is concerned, you know, you can say what, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you, you know, um, as an actor, because you're in public glare and, you know, you're... People will make, you know, stories, people will talk about you, people will do these things. I'm glad that he's also, you know, <clears throat> learning to learn the hard way, but that's the life of an actor. I think also and with the media, media being so, yeah. media being so, you know, uh, prevalent everywhere, every, you know, I'm in the house, I'm always seeing cameras over people on the trees with cameras, you know, like them. Really? They're like monkeys now, you know, the media guys. Yeah. They're all over the trees with, mon with cameras on the house. Well, you know, the heartthrob of the nation lives there, so what are you going to do? Well, no complaints. I didn't complain. <laughs> so what is your most fervent prayer for him? That he should have his head on his shoulders. I always said one thing to him, that let success not go to your head and failure not go to your heart. Try and make your grandfather and your great-grandfather proud. Yeah, that's a pretty heavy legacy. <laughs> <laughs>